السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Most gracious, most merciful Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen All praise is indeed due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Creator, nourisher, cherisher, sustainer, provider, protector, curer of one and all Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen Nabina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa tabi'een ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد. We send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, his household, all his companions. May Allah bless them all and bless every single one of us. Amin. My brothers and sisters in Islam, many times when we hear the call to prayer, and when we know that the time for salah has just entered, we take our time. We actually do not respond immediately. Sometimes we think to ourselves that, okay, perhaps there is a little bit of time. I still have a chance. You know, the time is just set in now. I will go just now. Did you know that that is the first step of the plot of shaitan to get you diverted from salah? When you are almost ready for it, he tells you just now. Don't worry. There is still a bit of time. So that bit of time before you know it, the time is expired and you think to yourself, oh no, I just missed it. May Allah forgive us. May Allah strengthen us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us understand the plot of shaitan. Whenever Allah has called us or instructed us to do something, a true believer will not rest until that is done. A true believer will not feel calm or at peace or at ease until he knows that he has tried his best to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the most beautiful way. And if we take a look at verse number 38 of Surah At-Tawbah, a narration made mention of in Tafsir al-Tabari by the Mufassir known as Mujahid rahmatullahi alayhi. He says the battle of Tabuk was a very difficult battle. It was a long journey from Medina Munawwara. At the time when it was very, very hot in the middle of summer, they had just come back from Hunayn and Ta'if and they had struggled quite a bit. And then the Messenger وسلم, says we need to face the Romans because they have assassinated the ambassador of Islam. And therefore prepare the army and let's move. Nobody was an exception. Every single person was conscripted to leave Medina Munawwara. The males who were able and capable, they had to go. But sadly, some people found excuses. And other people who may have been good, they delayed a little bit in responding to that call of Muhammad وسلم. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this verse, number 38 of Surah At-Tawbah. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu ما لكم إذا قيل لكم انفروا في سبيل الله الثاقلتم الثاقلتم إلى الأرض. O you who believe, what is it with you that when you are told to go forth for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa taala to please Allah subhanahu wa taala, you become heavy on the spot that you are upon on earth, which means you're not moving. What is it that when Allah and His Messenger have called you through? for something that is in the pleasure of Allah, known as the cause of Allah, whether it is salah, whether it is a good deed, whether it is the call to dress appropriately, whether it is the call to abstain from sin. Remember when we say Sabilillah, it includes more than 100,000 different channels of Islam. It includes your salah, your dress code, your attitude, your, 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 your truthfulness, your character, your conduct, your zakah, your hajj, your Ramadan, your psalm, all these are known as the path of Allah. Your Quran, your recitation of the Quran, perhaps the publishing, printing of the Quran and Islamic literature, perhaps building the masajid and madaris, doing any good work for the pleasure of Allah is known as sabilillah. It's known as the, the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Although in this particular verse, reference was being made solely to the battle of Tabuk, but obviously the lesson is for us all. Let us not become heavy on the earth. When the time for Fajr sets in, don't become heavy on your bed. When the time for a Salah comes in, do not become lazy. When a good cause is right calling towards you, do not delay. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us. It's a very, very beautiful lesson we learn from this lovely verse of the Quran. Like I said, although it was revealed for a specific purpose, but it should be helping us to tackle laziness and to be able to uh, answer to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times.